I'm the son of a Nazi sympathizer and the great-grandchild of a Nazi, Amma. My great-grandfather was part of the SS, specifically the SS Totenkopf the Bond. He worked as a guard from 1943 to 1944 at the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. I will not mention his name as from researching him myself you can find my own name online. Until the age of about 10 or 11 I grew up believing I was superior than everyone else because I was white and non-Jewish. I was told that had I been alive in the glory days I would have been considered part of the Aryan race. I used to bully a child in my class simply because of the fact he was Jewish. When I told my father he commended me and told me my great grandfather would have been proud. One of the few times he was pleasant to me as a kid and wasn't drunk. However, since the age of 12 I have been working hard to get the racism out of my head that was drilled into me since I was young, and I'm now more forward thinking and thankfully racism free, which really annoys my dad. So yeah, my great grandfather was an Nazi, and my grandfather and father are Nazi sympathizers. I'm the first generation in three generations to not be a racist pose. Ask me anything. Was there a specific event that made you have a change of heart? I distinctly remember seeing a documentary or some sort of movie on the Holocaust, and it went in depth about the atrocities of the Nazi party, specifically Joseph Mengele and his experiments. I thought to myself that can't be right, and so I researched more and more about what the SS and Nazis did, via books and some limited internet stuff, when I was allowed on the computer, and after reading all the horrendous things they did it made me sick to my stomach. Bear in mind I was an impressionable 11 ish year old, but I still had a moral compass. My dad never went into what exactly the Nazis did, I was just told that all the inferior races and religions were exterminated, I didn't exactly know what he meant by that, but I obviously got the idea. So yeah, it wasn't really an instant change of heart, but that documentary was the kickoff point. What are your thoughts on the people who deny the holocaust ever happened? It's absurd to me that anyone would deny it. There's so much evidence that I won't get into right now because there's just so much. I mean the Nazis themselves were proud of it. Those bastards kept records of everything down to facial blemishes lol. I can't fathom why or how you can deny such a terrible atrocity and sleep at night. Yeah that's the part one don't understand. Why deny it? Won't it be like fuck yeah. Those were the glory days. We killed those inferior bastards dead. Aren't Nazis proud of their accomplishments? Exactly. It's not like they kept it a secret or anything Lomfeo the records were right there. There are old people living in Israel with numbered tattoos on their arms. I guess they did it for fun. Denying the holocaust is not just stupid but also evil. The denialists don't claim that nothing happened. They falsely claim that it wasn't systematic mass murder of over 6 million people and instead was just prison camps with only a few accidental deaths. They're like flat earthers where they keep coming up with ridiculous attempts to dodge blatantly obvious facts. That Jewish kid you bullied when you were young, have you ever caught up to him slash her? Have you ever apologized and or explain why you had treated him slash her so badly? Or do you not feel sorry because you didn't know better or something like that? I feel remorse for that kid every day. The things I did to him were horrendous. I called him all sorts of anti-semantic slurs that no child should ever know and at one point I punched him really hard in the arm. I wish I could track him down on Facebook or something and sincerely apologize and explain to him why I was like that, but unfortunately he was Polish and I have no idea how to spell his first or last name. It's a shame because I know I probably screwed him up a little bit and it hurts to think about what I did. I've tried to forgive myself, but unless I manage to find him by sheer luck and apologize I'll never be able to truly forgive myself for what I did. Do you have a problem with Nazi jokes? After living with actual Nazis slash Nazi sympathizers. If they are in good taste then no. For instance a joke such as why did Hitler get it with a golf ball? He did not see it coming that's just a humorous joke at Novada's expense except Hitler's. However the joke about how many Jews you can fit in an ashtray is in poor taste and isn't really funny to anyone except the person telling the joke. I'm curious what you think about the one where Hitler says I said I want a glass of juice not gas the Jews. I think it's in good taste, just a funny play on words and nobody gets hurt lol. 
What are your thoughts on the Wolfenstein games? I actually haven't played them, but I've heard that they portray a very real and scary account of what the concentration camps were like. Does your father agree with everything that has been done by Nazis during WWII? For example, does he think that what Mengel did was right? Yes. In his eyes the Nazis may as well be angels sent from heaven to cleanse the earth. I asked him about Mengel once, and his response was without Dr. Joseph Mengel we would not have the made the medical advancements that we did so quickly, and more people would be dead without him now at the time I didn't know if there was any truth behind this, but I asked him if the ends justified the means, and he said yes, Mengel was a great doctor. I have tried getting him to understand, but there's no getting through to him. Unfortunately he's a lost cause. Which country did you move to from Germany, and what do they think about how the war ended? I moved to England first, stayed there for a year, and then moved to Northern Ireland where I currently live. England were allies during the war, and I'm not sure about Northern Ireland. A fake the English had parties when the war ended, but the shock to the country when they learned what the Nazis did was unfathomable. I can't even begin to imagine what the United Kingdom thought about that. You don't get to choose your family. I'm related to Robert E. Lee. Luckily the South lost. Everyone has to be related to someone. I often wonder what happened to the descendants of Hitler. Are you related to anyone with notoriety? Thanks for doing an ammo. Of course. As far as I know, no. Nobody of any political significance I'm afraid. I tried tracing my family tree, but I can't really get anything past my great great grandfather and he wasn't all that important. I've wondered about the descendants of Nazis. We went to Austria this year and our Rebbe host was German. His 70 year old mother let us in, and I thought her parents were Nazis. It certainly made you wonder what our views were. Nazis just didn't wake up and go holy cow, we were wrong. So where does it end? Their children get raised like that and so on. I mean, here we are 150 years after the civil war and people still claim the south will rise again. Is this a common mindset with descendants? Well, I can't say the same for others, but for my brothers, yes. Once I was fully educated on the atrocities of the Nazi party I began to tell them and help them reject the idea of our superior blood and they are now fully against my father and his beliefs. It's a struggle for sure. You grow up, and from as young as 4 years old we were told how we were better than our classmates, not to sit beside anyone who was Jewish or people of color. I was beaten for playing with a black boy who lived across the street from us at the time, and in my head I was I have done something very wrong here. I was commended for bullying a Jewish boy. I called him a host of extremely racist terms that no child should know, and when I told my dad I was given a high five and a bar of chocolate for being so good. To inform myself at age 12 was a struggle. To inform my kid brothers was even harder. To tell them their father was a liar broke my heart, because that's something number 8 or 9 year old wants to hear, especially from their older brother. However, I mentioned in another comment how the turning point was when I saw a documentary going in depth about the atrocities that were committed, but I fully think without that documentary I wouldn't have changed my ways until much much later, and by then it may have been too late. I'm really glad that I educated myself at a younger age because I was still impressionable and that really helps as a kid. So in short, with the right resources I believe any descendant of a family of hate and narcissism can have my mindset as long as they are willing to admit the problem with themselves to and not just blame their parents. What's your relationship with your family like now? More specifically your dad I guess. Fairly bad. We don't really talk about Germany or his views anymore, but the damage is there. Talkative combined with years of alcoholism and abuse really doesn't mix well. I really only ever contact him now when I need something, but apart from that our relationship is non-existent. Thoughts on shooting Nazis in WW2 games? I'm all for it. The more Nazis dead the better. Digital or not lol. Was it awkward in history, and did your friends know? Not really because by the time we learned about the Nazis I had already educated myself on what they had done. My friends at the time didn't know as it isn't something I'm proud of and tend to keep it to myself, but I have a few friends now who know and are fine with it. What happened when your dad found out? Good question. The short answer is that he beat me. A lot. 
he was an alcoholic, so that combined with his eldest son telling him he was a liar didn't go down well. We don't talk about it anymore though, and it's rare if he brings up Germany at all let alone my heritage. What are your thoughts on the rise of right-wing nationalism around the world? It's quite gross to see. I don't have a problem with people being right-wing or left-wing, but when it gets to the point of extreme racism and physical violence it's disgusting. It's only been 75 or so years since the worst atrocities humans have ever seen, and as right-wing extremists grow it scares me. Society needs to learn from its mistakes. People need to see what humans have done and why those mistakes can never ever be repeated. In the area that I live there are attacks on Polish people and Pakistani people and it's disgusting. However in saying that, those extremists shouldn't be condemned or hated upon because that makes the civilized people just as bad. They need to be educated on why you can't go around hating people because of their race. In my mind, it's a sickness which needs to be rehabilitated and treated, not condemned and pushed to one side. When you argued with your father, was there ever a point you thought you might have gotten through to him? Or has he always been hard-headed? My impression of racists are that they are looking for some way to validate themselves and makes themselves feel better about their existence, especially those who made bad decisions in life and or are struggling. Once. The only time I ever thought I got through to him was when I asked what if I was Jewish and he went dead silent. And then he just said, but you erin but no. It's like trying to teach the pavement how to multiply, there's no getting through to him. Was your dad slash grandfather slash great grandfather misogynistic too? Homophobic? Or just racist slash generally a piece of human garbage? I wanna thank you for doing an amour and seriously commend you for breaking the chain. Good job, op. All of the above lol. When they found out I was gay, that really stung lol. They're all generally shitty pieces of garbage lol. Thanks and you're welcome. Did that not make your dad question his beliefs? Homosexuals were also brought to the concentration camps. The regime he so loves would have murdered you. Nope it was just another reason for him to hate me. Since you have first hand experience of Nazis, how do you feel about people calling those who they don't agree with as Nazis? I think it's wrong. Just because you don't agree with someone doesn't make them a Nazi. Nazis committed the worst atrocities humans have ever seen. Personally, if you don't agree with someone then try to educate them on your point of view and listen to them when they try to explain this. Hate gets people nowhere in life, and if we just took a second to slow down and listen to other people we would all be much happier. Wow, the response on this was overwhelming. Thank you all so much for your questions, and I hope I was able to answer them. I'll continue to answer them for a few more hours, and for those asking if I do contact the Jewish bo who I bullied I'll post another update on this post. Oh, and thank you to whoever gave me gold 3. I contacted the school where I went and asked for the kid's name who I bullied. Unfortunately they aren't able to provide information on students, but I asked if they'd be willing to accept a letter and send it to his last known address, and they said they would do that for me. I will include a return address in case he wants to contact me back.